have been very close to octopuses and noticed that we share a lot with them. Some are very brave. Some chance and even challenge their fate. Others are timid. They don't want to risk anything, but they are always curious. Octopuses are mollusks and belong to the same phylum as snails and mussels. But, and this they have in common with some of us, they are very intelligent. Divers don't see octopuses too often. This is because they are very good at camouflage. They mimic the color of their background. The skin of octopuses can even change texture. The global octopus landing is between 300,000 to 400,000 tons every year. and they are even welcome as bycatch. Some of us, apparently, enjoy the taste of their meat and pay a lot for it. This explains why a fish farming company in Spain plans to mass produce octopus in the Canary Islands. This sounds good at first. Jobs will be created in Gran Canaria, as in other fish farms around the world. There might be less pressure on their wild cousins the price of octopus meat may go down. If so, why are environmental organizations and parts of the scientific world so much against the establishment of octopus farms? We meet Dr. Elena Lara, who is a marine biologist and EU senior science policy advisor for food systems. Um, we are against uh, that octopus, it's, it's farming in factory farms because these animals are solitary animals in nature. So that means that they spend their entire lives living alone and hiding in dens. And in intensive farms, they are gonna be put in, in tanks at high stocking densities. And this, it's gonna be very stressful for them. It's because these animals are very intelligent. And when, when, when we think about intensive farms, it, the, 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 the common structure, it's tanks, barren tanks without not any stimulation, these animals are not going to be able to, to, to interact with, with nature and they are not going to have any stimuli from, from, from any kind. So we think that it's quite cruel to put these intelligent and solitary animals in, in tanks, in crowded conditions when they are going to suffer and they are going to suffer of stress. And also, another very important point is the environmental impact of these farms, because these animals are carnivorous animals. They are, they are, like high, they are in the high traffic chain of the, of the marine environment. This means that they need to eat animal protein. And in aquaculture, in, and also in fish farms and farming, what they do is to, put, to use like, um, fish, wild-caught fish, to feed the animals that we are farming. The most species that we eat, like salmon, or we farm salmon, sea bass, sea bream, even shrimps, all of them are carnivorous. And this is a big issue. You know, like we cannot use the wild caught fish to feed these animals, instead to use it to feed people. Because it has been more or less estimated that 90% of the fish that we use to feed these animals could be used to feed people. A common slaughter method that you use for a fish farm, and it's the it's ice slurry, that it's uh, the technique, it's based on to introduce the animals in huge tanks with cold water and ice. And we know that this technique has been scientifically proved that it's, it causes a lot of suffering uh, because the animals takes a lot of time to die and, and they die of asphyxiation, which we know it's very cruel method to, to kill them. And the worry thing is that this technique, it's the technique that the company that wants to, to start the octopus farming, is the same technique that they are gonna use. So octopus are gonna be killed um, in these farms using ice, a slurry. And we know that it's very cruel practice and cause a lot of suffering and pain. So this should not be allowed. 
uh, to happen, knowing what we already know by science. Many farmed creatures in the world are living and dying in a horrible way, at least as bad as a farmed octopus would do. Still, this doesn't justify that those beautiful animals also would have to suffer from the beginning to the end.